It's not a league for Cinderella's, the NBA. The odds are heavy against kids with no basketball pedigree. Guys who get cut by two teams who come from the Ivy League. Every 30 years or so, you get a story in the NBA where a nobody comes out of left field to become a somebody. A Billy Ray Bates, a Jeremy Lin. Bates averaged 27 points over two postseasons for Portland in the early 80s, but had the misfortune of doing it too far off Broadway, too far from the tabloids, too many years before social media. Hard to believe now that Lin's a household name, at least in New York, that just 10 days ago he was a seat filler on the Knicks' own bench, but just a few weeks ago, Lynn was in the developmental league, more often a graveyard for pro careers than a launching pad. Perhaps nobody has found stardom faster, more unpredictably, or more thrillingly. Lynn drives and finishes. Jeremy Lynn fires up the crowd. Lo and behold, right in front of Lynn was a coach, a team of the city that needed a point guard, a playmaker, a choreographer, someone who could keep his dribble alive and his head up. A kid who could remind us a little of Steve Nash on the pick and roll. A little of John Stockton when left alone. A little of Earl Monroe when confronted with a defender in the lane. 38 points in a victory over the Lakers and Kobe last Friday is a fantasy, not a third NBA start. Yet, that's what Lynn did in his most impressive game so far. Lynn likes the open floor, spinning, puts it up and banks it in. Sensational play for Jeremy Lynn. Suddenly, Tyson Chandler was scoring. Jared Jeffries was finding putbacks. Someone named Steve Novak was open from three. And the Knicks went all the way from ragtag to threat, even without Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire. What would be a nice story in Houston or even Philly is, of course, the biggest deal in the world because it's happening in New York and to the Knicks. A franchise looking in from the outside for the last dozen years. A franchise and fan base desperate to mix it up on equal terms with Miami and Los Angeles, Boston and Chicago, even Oklahoma City and Memphis. To that end, Lynn has given greater New York's basketball fans not just excitement, but unexpected hope. Lynn, on the drive, gets inside, banks it in! Wow! We've seen enough over the last week to now know that Stoudemire and Anthony are the ones who have to make the adjustment and embrace this new reality. How else do you find out if the shoe fits? Well, talking about Carmelo.